morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and today I wanted to go over how to do shipping when you're used to Poshmark and you are cross-listing on eBay. When you post on Poshmark there is a fixed rate it is seven dollars and forty-five cents for anything under five pounds and so it's really easy to just pack your shipment out and use the USPS free boxes to send those out and so when I started eBay I found the whole shipping process to be so confusing it's not as complicated as I made it out to be but it is it does take some getting used to when you need to figure out the best way to ship for the lowest possible price without damaging or um, without damaging your items or receiving negative feedback for the way it's packaged. So I'm gonna go through some of my most common ways to ship through eBay when I'm selling the types of items that would be cross listed on Poshmark. So this is my little shipping corner. <laughs> I know it looks super messy, but with eBay, a lot of sales do need bigger boxes so I keep bigger boxes. I also keep packaging from presents and anything like that so that I am reusing as much as possible. I really love this shipping paper, this roll of shipping paper I use a lot for eBay especially. And then for clothing and those types of items I typically use the tissue paper so I also have this ginormous pack of tissue paper from Costco. This is a uh, second one and I think yeah it has 400 sheets so this is lasting me a while. So those are some good supplies to have on hand. If you do ship other items it's good to have bubble wrap. I have the thicker bubbles as well as the more average size bubbles. Some other packaging items that I have for more for eBay is these uh, padded envelopes. I have them in two different sizes and I actually originally bought this size but then DVDs and PlayStation games that kind of thing they don't fit in there they're like just the same size so I did also get a slightly bigger size as well and I use those pretty frequently for home good types of items like video games and media. But if you're cross-listing from Poshmark, a lot of the items are going to be clothes, shoes, and accessories. And so there's a few different ways to ship through USPS that you'll want to know about when you're cross-listing to eBay. When you ship through Poshmark, you are given the option to use the USPS free priority mailboxes and though a lot of people do use the flat rate boxes, you're actually not supposed to use those with the Poshmark shipping labels. So if you want to do it correctly, make sure you're grabbing anything that does not say flat rate on it because those have their own pricing that USPS sets. So some of the packaging from USPS that you might already be familiar with that I use quite frequently for eBay are the Tyvek envelope, which is really the one I use most frequently for clothes. You may be familiar with the large mailing box, which I use often for bundles and shoes. And then there's also the shoe box, which is specifically, you know, made for shoes. But I do think that this is a good size for a lot of different things. And then there are the more normal um, rectangular boxes. We have a smaller one at these dimensions, and that is the 1097 box. I use this a lot if I'm shipping out something like a blazer. There's a slightly bigger version with these dimensions, and that is the 1095 box. I know a lot of Poshmark sellers use this for bundles. And then another good one to have on hand for Poshmark is this small box. I like to sell jewelry in these. 
and that's the 1096 L and through USPS all of those boxes are free so you just grab them either from your post office or you can order them online to ship to your home or wherever and those are free to use what you need to know when you start cross-listing on eBay though is that anything using these boxes needs to go through priority mail which is a higher rate than first class shipping if you have an item that weighs less than a pound which is usually a lot of tops, some bottoms, accessories, you'll likely want to ship first class mail because that is going to give you a much better shipping price. So the rules to that are that you need to have it weigh under a pound when it's through eBay and you need to have packaging that is not from the USPS priority mail. So you can't use the boxes that you would typically use through Poshmark for your eBay sales. So a few different items that I like to pick up, either just kind of saving your own boxes or if you're purchasing, I like to have on hand this box here and I will have this linked below. I don't have the exact dimensions on me right now, but this is a bigger white plain box that I picked up off of Amazon. And what I like to ship in this is baseball hats because you don't want them to get dented or ruined in an envelope. And so you do want something structured like a box. This is really lightweight and it's really the perfect size for hats. I also have these white boxes from the same Amazon link in two other sizes. I have one here, which is pretty small. And this I actually use more for like ornaments and household goods that are breakable, that are small and I wrap them up with bubble wrap. But you could use this for jewelry or other smaller accessories when you're, sh when you're shipping first class on eBay. And then the third set that I have is just slightly bigger. And so those are good to have if you do ship more accessories and items that aren't necessarily flat or that you don't wanna get ruined if they get um, set on or anything like that. For clothes, if you're shipping first class, a great thing to have on hand is some poly mailers. And I, again, have a couple different sizes. The white one is a slightly smaller size, and then the black one is bigger, and it's a good size for coats and more bulky items, and it is a thicker material, so it rips a lot less easily. So I will also have those linked down below. And any link that I have below to Amazon is an affiliate, so I will make a small commission from any purchases that you make just to let you know. When you're shipping through eBay, you want to round up to the nearest ounce or pound, and you'll also want to round up on any measurements that aren't exact. So if you have a package that weighs 13.5 ounces, you're going to want to round up to 14 ounces. We have 11.5 by 2.375 by 13 by by 13.125. So when you add those measurements into eBay, you want to do 12, 3, and 14. All of these different dimensions go into how much your package will cost. So the goal is always to get your package to weigh as little as possible and to be in the smallest size as possible to save as much money. However, you want to make sure your items are safe and nicely packaged so that you can avoid returns for damaged items or so that you can get better review. I like to understand the value of my item and so if it is an item that is designer or higher priced, I'm going to ship priority mail regardless of whether or not it's under a pound just so that you have a higher amount of insurance on the shipping package and it will ship to the buyer at a more rapid rate. When your items are more than a pound, which often happens with jackets, coats, jeans, and bulkier items, you will want to ship priority mail. And so again, I pointed out some of my favorite boxes. I would definitely take a look at the Tyvek envelopes. If you're not already using them, I find them very convenient. But there are times when a flat rate package will actually be a better deal. So another good 
package type to look out for is the the padded flat rate envelope and this for sometimes for jeans or like a heavier weighted item that can fit in this envelope you're going to get a better rate than you would with the Tyvek envelope so before you seal the package just enter the dimensions into ebay they have a pretty easy tool to enter your dimensions and shipping weight and then once you do that you're able to see all of the different options available to you and the prices so you can look at usps priority mail which is the most common USPS first class. There's also options for UPS. So with some of the down jackets and bigger bulkier items, I will choose UPS rather than USPS because the bigger the package, generally I find that UPS has a better price. So definitely look at the options. Keep in mind if the buyer selected a specific option, you don't want to downgrade from that. So if the buyer paid for priority mail, you do not want to move over to first class because that's not what they paid for. They paid for the shipping time of priority mail. So you want something that's comparable. Sometimes I will switch from USPS priority mail to UPS ground mail because they have a comparable amount of shipping time and that's okay. It's just not okay to go down from what the buyer paid for. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. I had a hard time learning the shipping rates for eBay and I feel like I finally got it down. When you add an item, make sure that if you're not sure what the weight is, that you're weighing it. And so I'll show you my favorite scale that I used for that. I have the Accutech shipping scale and it goes up to 110 pounds. And it also has the cord with the weight off to the side, which I find really useful for weighing items that are bigger <laughs> than the scale itself. That way I can still see the number. I know a lot of scales do have a hold option, but I just find this a lot easier and it was definitely a purchase that I am happy I made. And so I actually had a kitchen scale previously, but that only went up to 11 pounds. And so I was shipping a lot more heavier items than 11 pounds and I needed to make that upgrade. I also use a thermal label printer. Again, I'll leave that link below, but you can make do with a regular printer, which is what I did for the first three or four months of shipping in a more serious manner. So it's definitely doable. I saved the ends of each label that I printed to write out my thank you cards and I still have that paper and I still hand write my thank you cards. So that's another great way to reduce your waste and use the resources that you have available to you. Leave a comment below if you have any tips for those who are used to posting on Poshmark that are now cross-listing onto other platforms like eBay, I would love to get the conversation going if you have any questions. And if you like this content, definitely give it a thumbs up so that I know to continue making videos like this. And I would love it if you could subscribe and join me in 2022. And I will catch you on the next one.